inside the church. You do away with the law. Only two commandments you keep the new one. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. That's all you got to do. You a liar, preacher. If you're telling people that, it's much more. But he said something here. He said, I write no new commandments. So Jesus telling me he wrote the commandments. Let's see. Let's go to Exodus chapter 24. It's Jesus, the unknown God, that these people eagerly worship on Sunday. Well, this thing tight out here. Let's see here. Because you can't even read you get in that thing, man. Shoot, man. The thing tight, man. I bless myself in this. I don't care if y'all eating good. I'm eating real good right now. I'm eating real good. I'm eating these scriptures, boy. The more and more I study this book, the more and more I understand the plan of God. I couldn't preach this at all. It took me 10 years to get to this lesson. Because my mind had that little idea in my mind. No, that was the fathers back in the day. No, that was that was Jehovah back in the day. That was the Father. The Father named Jehovah. I couldn't see that was Jesus because I couldn't understand the scripture until I got a teacher. God led me to a teacher. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 24 and verse 9. Let's see who wrote the commandments. And he did a special thing for these people when he gave them the commandments to them. Verse uh, 9. Go ahead. Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel. Now these people went up. Moses, Aaron, Nadab, and 70 of Israel. What did they do? Let's see something here. Go ahead. And they saw the God of Israel. Wait a minute now. He said, no man has seen God at any time. Right. But I see 74 people see God right here. Right. Or 70. Mm -hmm. See God. Who can tell you lies and me lies? These son of preachers. They don't understand the book. They didn't see the Father. They saw Jesus way back in the Exodus. Go ahead. And they saw the God of Israel. Mm -hmm. And there was under his feet as it were a paved work of a sapphire stone. Yes, sir. And as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. Yes, sir. They saw him. What did they do when they seen him? Go ahead. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hands. Also, they saw God and did eat and drink. Well, they saw him and they ate with him? Well, I couldn't even eat and I'd be putting feet in my chin. I'd be like, what is this? Man, I couldn't be eating? They saw God. They saw Jesus right here. But these people think that this is the Father. No, this is not the Father. What did Jesus say in John chapter 5? The Father, you need to see me say? I heard his voice at any time. Even John said, Said for the New Testament readers. Go ahead. <clears throat> and the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone and a law and commandments which I have written. Which I have what? Written. Wait a minute. The Lord told Moses, Come on up here. And Jesus told Moses, Come on up here. I'm going to give you the law and the commandment which I have written. Is Jesus doing this? Go ahead. That thou mayest teach them. You got to teach them. That's what we're doing today. We're reading the book so you can teach them. This is what we're trying to understand about God. That he didn't just show what's here about Jesus. He did not just show up by Mary and Joseph. He was there from the beginning. We read about it. But when your preacher is dumb, the congregation going to be dumb and also they're going to be dead. Proverbs chapter 21 says that. Sitting in this congregation of the dead. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. And Jesus, I know, never told us he's going to abolish his law. You hear him all the time. When Jesus went to the cross, brother, he did away with the Old Testament and the law. He nailed them to the cross. He need to nail your behind to the cross for them lies. And these preachers are morticians. They kill it, folks. Put them in the grave. Kill 
tell the people, boy, and Jesus is telling them over and over and over again by keeping his law, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. I come not to change nothing. How are you going to change something wrong? <laughs> Let's see if Jesus change anything. Matthew chapter 5, and start verse 17. Go ahead. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. See, we can close the book on that. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law. I didn't come to nail the law to the cross and say, oh, it is finished. You ain't got to do the Old Testament or the dietary law or nothing like that. He said, think not. Don't think this in your mind. I didn't come to change the law to destroy it. Go ahead. Destroy the law of the prophets. Mm -hmm. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. See, Jeff, Jesus fulfilled that part. You're right. He fulfilled his part. When he came, he came and died on the cross. He fulfilled that part. That's right. He appeared to Abraham. He fulfilled that part. He appeared to Mel. He appeared to Mel Chester. He fulfilled that part. He did all these parts. He fulfilled. He played his role. From Genesis all the way down to when he died, he fulfilled it. And he said, that's it. I did my part. I'm going back to sit on the right hand of the Father. I did my thing. I signed the record straight for them so they can make sure they can get salvation. But what these dumb preachers inside the Southern Church to say, you ain't got to do the law. The law going to keep you saved along with Jesus. Who going to work on the job and not know the rules of the job? People got jobs all over the world. Truck drivers, barbers, regularly fast food restaurants, they tell you everything that you must possibly do to keep this job. They give you a rule book. You go in there and try to cook the food cook the fries inside the, the, on top of the grill or, or you go in there and try to do all this. I try to go ahead and cut people bald head. I ain't going to have a job very long. So Jeff ain't had for no bald head. You gave me no bald head. I fired you. Bam. I ain't coming back no more. Probably get sued. But this is what they telling us in these churches. That Jesus destroyed the law. Yep. Yep. He did away with it. Now they're going to get fired from the kingdom. And unemployment is the lake of fire. Go ahead. Verse 18. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So, is heaven and earth still like that? Yeah. So how is all being fulfilled yet? All has to be fulfilled, so it's still standing. It don't change. When Jesus said, I come back and the heaven's going to roll back like a scroll, that's when you say, uh oh, it's about time for him to do his thing now in the last part. This is what he tells us here, y'all. He didn't destroy the law. This is Jesus the God we know. It's not unknown to us. We know this. Go ahead. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You know what these dumb preachers be saying right here? Well, Jeff, I'm going to just be called the least in the kingdom, and you might be called great, but I'm going to still be in the kingdom. <laughs> Let me tell you this, guys. The king, the lake of fire is going to be in the kingdom. That's the least in the kingdom. If you got some understanding, we wanted to break the least of these commandments going to be in the lake. That's why Abraham was talking to the rich man. He said, tell Abraham, come up. Now, Lazarus was talking to the rich man. Tell Lazarus, come over here and, and give him some water. How was he communicating with him? He showed the future. The lake of fire is going to be in the kingdom of God. You're going to see these people burning. If you got some understanding, that's Jesus' kingdom anyway. For a thousand years. Ooh, this thing tight. Yes, tight one, right. I hope y'all got some understanding on this. That Jesus, the unknown God, don't be the ones that don't know him. No one from the scripture. He's the God from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Let's go to Revelation chapter 22. This is the last one. Let me show you what he said here. When God looks down here, in my mind, 
I want him to say, okay, he understands my plan. Come on up, Jeff. That's what I want him to do. And this is why these lessons are put together so you and I can learn of him. But what you hear in these Sunday churches, well, the choir sounds so good, but we had a good time. But well, that choir rocking, living right, passes up there, shaking his leg and all this stuff. What a preacher preach about? I don't know, but we had a good time. Ain't learned jack. Look, never. Want to be entertained. That's wrong with our people right now. Want to be entertained in every facet of our life. Want to be entertained. That's right. We do. It's real sad. Revelation chapter 22, we're going to start at verse 12. And Jesus is going to tell you, you ain't here with no other God but me. Man wise. Go ahead. And behold, I come quickly, mm -hmm. and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. Oh, we don't get rewarded for the work? So if you've been a big sinner all this time, all that work gonna appear before judgment. But if you've been a righteous man and woman all this time, all your good work gonna appear, appear before the judgment. So you gotta make sure you're doing these things, obeying. Go ahead. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last. He said, I'm Alpha. I'm the only God you know from the first time Adam stepped on the scene, I was there. I'm Alpha, meaning that the first who Abraham dealt with. I'm Alpha who Isaac dealt with. Jacob, all the our prophets who dealt with, they dealt with Jesus. Moses, he dealt with Jesus. I'm Alpha. Go ahead. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. So he said, bless or you that do his commandment. That's your passcode to get in. Just like a lot of people got passcodes that unlock their phone, unlock their computer. The commandments is the passcode. He looking down and said, okay, let me see if they know and do my commandments. And I got a quick thing for y'all to understand. Hey, more than just 10. More than just 10. And over 600 some dollars in this book. Yep. More than just 10. So if you don't know but four, you're in, a, you're in a big trouble. You put a gun in somebody here right now in the world and say, I'm going to kill you if you don't know the Ten Commandments. They would die. 90% of the world would die. Just they, <laughs> Just because they don't know ten simple commandments. I should put some money on the table right now. See who knows the ten commandments. Put a hundred dollars on the table right now. I should do that. See who can get the hundred right now. Yeah. My family ain't included. They might know it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one day. I'm gonna do this one day. I'm gonna put some money on the table. Yeah, yeah, that's simply that. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 15. For without are dogs and sorcerers and homemongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. What is without? That's the land. Exactly. They will fire you. And we learned about the dog last week. That's the homosexual. That dog. Sorcerers, all these doing psychic hotline, all these zodiac signs, all this stuff they can tell the future, they don't be without. Hormones, these hoes out here, sex before marriage. Murderers, you can murder somebody by just simply hating somebody. And he tells you idolatry. You got that chain with the Jesus chunk on that cross and all that stuff? That's idol worship. Got that picture of Jesus in your house, and grandma always had in the house. And grandma, you didn't get that down. Well, you better get out of here. And that's all you can do. Leave it alone. And whosoever loved it to make a lie, and the liars. Yes. Liars. But well, this concludes the message. Jesus the unknown God. Hope y'all got some understanding. Gonna read the announcements. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the offering going. If you
you got anything you want to give, come up and give it at this time.